Hey guys, uh, Rami here with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Thursday, October 15th. Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin talked for an hour yesterday and they're going to be talking some more today. We have some updates from both of them and from President Trump himself. The stimulus situation is really tense right now and the election is only 19 days away. And some are saying that if we wait until after the election, Things can be really bad for stimulus whether President Trump wins or loses. But he said he's ready to sign a deal. So let's talk about that and much more. Just please hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can keep you up to date with everything regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package, plus more money and finance news. I'm pretty sure all of you saw the super intense interview between Nancy Pelosi and Wolf Blitzer on CNN the other day. I couldn't believe that was on CNN, to be honest, you know, because it leans heavily on the left. And Nancy Pelosi even called him a Republican apologist. Not sure where that came from, but okay. The interview made it clear that Pelosi is holding stimulus for political reasons. Even Wolf Blitzer told her, but so many of your fellow Democrats in the House, they want a deal right now. The problem solvers, they want a deal right now. Here is what they are complaining about because you wrote a letter to House Democrats and you said this. The president only wants his name on a check to go out before election day and for the market to go up. Is that what this is about? To not allow the president to take credit if there is a deal that would help millions of Americans right now? And her response to that was, no, I don't care about that. He is not that important. He's not important. Well, he is only the president of the United States of America. Then she went on talking about the $3.4 trillion Heroes Act and how much they went down and all that. But Wolf Blitzer didn't let up. He said that what we're all thinking, Madam Speaker, I have only the greatest respect for you. I just want to point out though, $1.8 trillion. $1.8 trillion is a lot of money. The American people need that money ASAP because they are suffering right now. I'm not saying it's perfect, but don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. And this is where I and I believe many of you have a problem with her approach. The $1.8 trillion has stimulus checks, unemployment boost, rental and mortgage assistance, money for schools and PPP and airlines, all great things. So yeah, the American people would rather get that right now than wait for what Pelosi is trying to perfect. Then last night, President Trump tweeted saying Nancy Pelosi couldn't care less about the American people or the great American worker. She should approve needed stimulus now. Most other Dems agree. Republicans are ready to go. I am ready to sign. The part that's a bit of an overstretch here in this tweet is that Republicans are ready to go. We know that many Republicans are opposed to a stimulus deal, but again, if the House and the White House agree and the Senate has a bill and they actually vote on something in front of their eyes, then maybe we'll get the 13 Republican votes that we need to pass this thing. Also yesterday, Steve Mnuchin was interviewed and when asked about how things are going, he said, the president and my first priority would be there's about $300 billion that was approved in the last CARES package that we haven't spent. We need authority to spend that money. So our choice would be to immediately use that money for small business, for more PPP money, second payments, use it for airline workers, use it for kids and to support jobs so we can get that money into the economy quickly. The president will also like to send direct payments to hardworking Americans quickly. That's I'm sure stimulus checks. There's a lot of areas in here that would have enormous bipartisan support if it could be passed out on a standalone basis. But the Speaker and Senator Schumer have insisted on an all or nothing approach. So we've been trying to negotiate in good faith a comprehensive package that would include a lot of things. It would include money for testing, vaccines, kids, jobs, healthcare. There are certain areas we got a lot of progress on and certain areas we still have more work to do. And then he later said, I'd say at this point, getting something done before the election and executing on that would be difficult. And this is the scary part because some are saying that if the president loses the election, he'll be in no mood to negotiate and work with anyone from the Democrats, which means we won't see anything until February. On the other hand, if he did win anyway without needing a stimulus package to help him win, then he may not be in such a rush to pass something and can put more hard lines against the Democrats because he'll sort of have the upper hand in the negotiations then. So it's kind of a double-edged sword here to wait until after the election. What do you guys think? Is there any chance of something getting done before the elections? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Please hit the like button on the video, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notifications bell to be notified that whenever I publish new videos and new content for you. Also, make sure to check the link in the description for the Yada Savings Account. It's a new savings account that is FDIC insured, but gives you interest with a lottery system. If you use the link below, you'll get 100 tickets when you deposit as little as $25 for a chance to win up to $10 million. Then you'll get a weekly ticket for every $25 you deposit. I think this is the future of banking as it encourages savings to earn more chances at winning a big prize. Also, don't forget to get your two free stocks which expires today from Webull, potentially worth up to $1,600 when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.